We are starting off this edit at the skate park, and what do I spy from my car? Jeremiah. I'm so Surprised by all your. Hey! Look at your camera, dude. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. How art thou? Uh, that was great. Now look, it's really great. Dude, it has been a minute. This is your local though, huh? You're a cherry dude. I am. I'm, I'm like a Silverado cherry dude. So I actually drove 30 minutes out here today just to skate the quarter pipe that they have here because I've been slacking on my tranny game and today, I feel like a lot of people are gonna make jokes about that and I have five tricks that I have to do and it's like no matter how long it takes, I can spend all day doing these but I have five tricks that I have to do. Uh, but first I have some recommendations that people want to see me do. First of all, we have the Homie, Chris, I don't think I'm allowed to say that. Uh, do an inward heel rewind, which I'm assuming means like revert. And then Jake Casario tried doing a willy grind, in my opinion, one of the coolest looking grinds. So I'll try to add those two in the mixture of just skating and then doing the five tricks on the training. Plus I'll also have like the text for the names of the tricks. So they go, no, somebody recommended that as well and I couldn't find the uh, recommendation, but. There's exhaustion in my face. That session went on forever. Hey, who's that guy? That guy? Yeah, that guy. What? I think it's Marcos. Oh, okay, it's Marcos. Wait, who are you? Jeremiah? <laughs> yeah, that's who I'm talking about. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hey. Hey, I'm just saying hey to you for the first time. I definitely haven't already said hey before this. Louise! He's a liar! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you do one more? Everybody tells me to learn hard flips, and this is probably why, because this looks like it'd be super fun. Are you joking? <laughs> what? Oh. Houston, the tower is clear. They're all yours. He just did a hard foot leaf flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seriously just did a hard foot lay flip. I haven't even warmed up. Yet. He literally just got here, said hey to me, and did a hard foot lay flip. Are you kidding? Can't see you. You're dark. dark well, guy. I felt bad saying that out loud. Oh, you're yeah, dark. Yeah, you're racist, dude. <laughs> it's good seeing you again. Right. Let's actually plan something, even though this was soon. cool that it happened, but this was, this wasn't planned though. <laughs> this was not. But yeah, let's plan something soon. All right. And be friends. That's gonna be. Call it that. oh, what? <laughs> Sometimes I don't like to start off my vlogs in front of people. I like to have more of a personal touch and be like, hey. How you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I hope you have a wonderful day depending on what time you're watching this. But today for me is all about one thing. If you saw yesterday's video, I ran around doing as many things as possible in one day. And today, one focus, Progress Daily, which is actually my clothing company. I have to design the next four shirts. Actually, I just have to come up with the concepts and then I have someone who's designing them for me. I'm at the mall now and it's super Christmassy and happy. And also in yesterday's video, I mentioned that you need chaos instead of structure in a day to spark creativity sometimes and today I'm allowing that I didn't plan anything I'm just kind of going along with whatever happens and uh, hoping that it just stimulates my brain throughout the entire day and I can come up with some awesome concepts look at my down. Down. look at my down. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I was just filming like me walking like a time lapse. Oh uh, yeah, unfortunately Don't you can't. Yeah, you can't film okay, cool. yeah. I went directly across the street. For now, I am at the uh, the Target. Look at my tail. Catching the sun setting at four o'clock right now. I was just cleaning out my car and I found something that uh, I don't even remember buying. Guess what I'm doing next? I have no idea. That's the point of today, just winging it. Uh, I'm kind of close to LA. It's sort of tempting. It's about five o'clock right now though, so gotta play my cards correctly. All right, you have five seconds to figure out who this is so I don't get a copyright strike. Have you guessed yet? Hold on. Riff Raff. I swear, the song's called Heart of Gold, Riff Raff. So I'm randomly in Culver City, actually. I just drove up 30 minutes north or so, and I'm gonna get all the work that I need to get done here, which is uh, a decent amount of things. I actually have to upload my Progress Daily store right now before my video goes live. Yeah, it's gonna be, um... So this place actually had plugins outside. It's called Tanner's Coffee, and she kept saying the Wi-Fi password, which was Tanner's One. And I was like, I don't know what that is. Like, I've never heard that expression. I was like, Tanner? What's Tanner? And she's like, it's the name of the coffee shop. And then she slapped me in the face. Thank you. You're welcome. I just have to mention this. Look at this ad playing before one of my videos. And the thing that happened before Scientology and after was I was learning tricks a lot. That's my homie. I can really do more of what I want to do instead of what people tell me I should do or what people tell me to do. How could you make it any clearer? I've been a warlord for too long. I've been a warlord, take me home. It's 8 o'clock right now, it's an hour to get home, and by the time I get there, it's gonna be 9 o'clock and everything's gonna be closed anyways, all of the restaurants, so I should get dinner now, and hopefully it'll kill some time and kill the traffic. It's crazy, you literally can't be on the road from like, 2.30 all the way up to about 8.30, or you'll hit traffic dying. Holy cow, this area is cool. <laughs> this place is toys, but I can't find the vegan restaurant. There's a vegan restaurant that I'm going to. I'm trying to eat healthier. For some reason, just the word vegan throws me into that spiral where I'm like, yeah, I should probably do that because I feel like the fat will disappear from my body. This would be it. <laughs> I'm also extremely anxious right now because my new shirts go online. I mean restock of my old shirts. Tonight, which you know by now, of course, but every time there's about to be a release, I get crazy, crazy anxious. And it's funny because Brian Ames from Revive Skateboards is the exact same way. He says he loses sleep over this anytime there's a new product release, even though it's not new product, but it's just getting restocked, so I'm um, I'm anxious. That's actually why I'm eating at this restaurant instead of taking it home, because I need to gauge it. My house is 45 minutes away. Right now, my thing's gonna go live in 10 minutes. I just need to be here just to, I don't know why. I mean, nothing's gonna change if I'm just sitting here gauging it, but I need to <laughs> it's officially live. Everything seems to be going well. And I have pizza. Have a good night. Take care. Yep. Okay, everything's awesome. Right now, everything went well. Everything's going great. Uh, people are excited about the new shirts. There's like new shirts. Why do I keep saying that? The old shirts restocked. The new shirts are actually coming very soon. I'm like almost done with creating the ideas, and then I have someone who's designing, etc. Blah, blah blah. But I. I spread positivity a lot and I talk about it so much and tonight I'm like, I'm extra feeling it. I hate overdoing it because sometimes people are like, all right, dude, we get it. Like, not everybody's life is like that positive and whatever. It's like, it, it doesn't take a million good things happening in a row to be a positive person at all. And, and I think a lot of people out there understand that and that's the way I feel. I can have a day where nothing better happens or nothing like weirdly awesome happens and it's still an amazing day because I survived, because I'm alive, because I wake up and I can breathe and look outside and be like, whoa, the sun is beautiful in my face. And even if it's not, you can find things to be positive and happy about and this is like, Today is just a day where I was like so soothed out at dinner and I was listening to the soundtrack of the movie Her, which is probably has a lot to do with it, which has probably, my English is horrible tonight, but 
I don't know. I just want to thank you guys so much for existing and for, for supporting me. And I mean, I could go on and on and on, but it's just super, it's insane. Like it is insane how amazing people are out there and how much people are trying to be the best version of themselves and how excited people are. And just reading the comments and people are telling me their stories and like what they've learned and what they've done. And it's incredible. And people will say that like, I'm inspiring. Go through the comments and read some of the people. It's just like the things that they have accomplished from being in hell and then standing up and be like, you know what? I don't want to be a part of this. I'm, <laughs> I'm crushing it. And it's just amazing to see. And I'm going to stop there, but I do have a quote for the night that I want to end it with. And it's by Larry David. I don't take, I don't take on big things. Oh yeah. I don't take on big things. What I do pretty much is make the big things small and the small things big. And that's what happens. If you start all these small series of events that you want, if you want to accomplish something big, break it down into small events and then just work on those and think of those as the accomplishments. And once you do, before you know it, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I've reached this goal. And this is exactly what happened to me in the last year. It's like setting these small things and be like, this would be cool. This would be cool. And then just like ended up being exactly what I've wanted in life. And at this point, I've like in my mind, I've accomplished more than I ever thought that I was capable of because I learned that I wasn't capable of doing these cool things. I don't know why. It's just kind of a series of events that led me to believe that I wasn't, I wasn't destined for cool things. And now it's like, I can't believe the life that I get to live and the things that I get to do and, and, and the appreciation that I have. And luckily that was learned. Luckily my parents taught me to appreciate things and that just, so I guess no matter how my life was, I'd be stoked, but I don't know. I can't believe it. It's awesome. And you guys roll. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for another video. So yeah, that's a three minute outro just for you guys. You guys are the best. See you tomorrow. Stuff's going to be cool. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, I'll see you then. Good night.